lovely day, dear, been sitting in the park in the sun. I know you ladies. Twelve ounces of mints, and what else? So much rum steak, dear. You don't keep a man with mints. No. Twenty p. Oh, thank you very much. Bye, bye, dear. Mind how you go, old cow. Give us a chop. I'll have six if you like for the price. It's the last day, Marion. Tell you. Yeah, she said you was closing now. Oh, bonds a bit. Old stock. I can let you have some kidneys. Ah, don't go for awful. It's too much like insides. Oh, no, it's rabbit. Eh, rabbit's one of those things I think of you know is a rabbit. <laughs> Horse is the same, but the French man is all right. Uh, nice lamb chop, though. It's definitely a dish. Have ten. I'll pay a bit grey. Oh, you don't want to mind the smell. Lamb always smells a bit strong. Just <laughs> one another cold tap when you get old. I like lambs in the field, mind you, in the springtime. Yeah, I had quite a nice pet lamb one holiday when I was a kitty. Marion's still in the office, is she? It's hard for a child till it gets the neck. The lamb's a pet, don't hurt. If the lamb's a chop, it's not gonna make it. Marion very busy, I suppose. She's uh, waiting for a big phone call. She's got three, bar two buyers after those three houses in a row on the square, playing them off sort of thing. 1,575 people die daily in England and Wales. Fair number. It's only a matter of making her one of them. It's not that easy. Speaking as one, who knows? Well, she is physically a very strong woman, and mentally in some respects. Yeah, well, you weren't thinking of unarmed combat. Yeah, no, she did karate once in an evening class when she had more time on her hands. No, no I must find the right tool for the job. Now, is the idea to kill her at all costs, or do you count on getting away with it? I hadn't planned on being caught, no. Mm. Then a knife might be too much of a clue. <laughs> what I'd prefer is a convenient accident. If she could topple off a cliff. A day trip! You could come with us as a witness. No, 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 witness is what you don't want. No, a witness to say you saw me not push her. <laughs> accident. Are you serious? Ah, uh, do I know? I know I dwell on murder day and night. I can't see any light for myself till she's gone. She's in much better health than I am. Then why not leave her? I tried that once. But where would I go? And she didn't mind at all. Hardly. Not enough. And she can stand on her own two feet, which is something I abominate in a woman. Added to which she has what you might call a magnetic personality. We got that out of a machine once on a beer in happier times that said your character. It was so like, it made you wonder what is above. You know, my card said exactly the same as hers, which was a pleasant mistake on the part of whoever filled the machine, so I don't know my true character. But she is a magnet, all right. I gather around. So do you. You kept dropping in until she said you could work for her. And now you work for her all day and after night and still you drop in. You'll draw in. What for? Just to be there when she's there, you see? Aren't you afraid, I'll tell her? Well, I have to talk to someone now and then. I'm quite fond of the dog, mind you. Are you getting another job? <laughs> I've been a butcher for years. And my father before me, he killed his own meat. Not in London, there isn't the opportunity. You know, we had the good luck to live in a suburb with a small field adjoining the shop. Then we moved here. It seemed like progress at the time, but now that it's all done by machine, a lot of the dignity's gone out of it. But you still don't see a lady vulture. Apart from the physical weakness, a lady has a squeamishness, which is very proper in the fair sex. Uh, but shameful in a man. We were taught to look up to my father. My mother literally worshipped him. I've seen her on her knees. And he would raise her up very gracious. She knew how to give a man the right support. He had his chair, the tea was hot on the table when he came in. We never made a sound. It was Sainsbury you were fitting up next to you, did it, was it? I don't know why people want their meat in polythane. It's like going around with your head in a plastic bag. You could get another shop. Better place. Would Mary buy you a shop? Uh -huh. I don't let her buy me a drink. I was going to be big myself, you don't seem to realize. That was my intention as a young man. I had none of your difficulties, Worsley. I was thrusting. I envisaged the chain. Clegg and son. I was still the son at the time. I would have liked to son myself once I was the Clegg. Now that I had no son, I don't need a business. Having no business, I don't need a son. Oh, you need a hobby. If you know interests, 
I could have any number. Well, pick one or two. Throw yourself in wholeheartedly. You have to keep busy. I was always my best under pressure. I thrive on competition. I put two men out of business when I was only 17 years old. Yeah, that's where we differ. Slightest pressure from outside and I fall in. Because inside of me, there is very nearly a vacuum. The balance is just so. I was on top in the lower forms of grammar school and I liked to be marked then. But sometimes I look around now to be marked or I mark myself. Good minus, could have tried harder. Isn't this painful cutting yourself like that? I know when I give the odd slip of the knife, I don't have to give it <laughs> An accident makes you feel got at, but if you mean it, pain's more on your side. Because nobody dies without discomfort, so I just take it as an occupational hazard. You never get anything of value without working for it, as the headmaster liked to say in assembly, per ardua ad astra. But you do intend to be dead. Ah, I try to. My doctor says I'm so safety prone, I must have a life wish. I have a sense of humor about the psychiatrics. I have every respect myself for the mental profession. When Marion was still in hospital, they told her she'd be happier and more sane as a good wife. Uh, comb your hair, <laughs> take an interest in your husband's work, find a hobby. Now, she had her painting, which was all right. Creative hobbies are very nice for a woman. I appreciate anything pretty and artistic, but she wouldn't listen. She came out of there with staring eyes, and three weeks later, she bought her first house. It's only 1,500 pounds. She had 500 left by her dad, and I did the rest for her on a mortgage, because the mortgage company was understandably reluctant to deal with a lady. Now, she's paid me back since, of course, but I would have lost the money and forgiven her and not said another word about it if she'd only stayed with her painting and been content. Everything I had was always hers. I always said. She only had to ask. I was sorry she didn't stay in hospital longer. I used to dance with her at the socials. Dancing <laughs> it can be very dangerous if it's not washed. Well, I wouldn't say she danced with everyone. She's not everyone's type. That's why I put up with this sort of talk. Or seem to. In fact, I bide my time. If I had thought at any moment that she had dishonored me, then without hesitation, or a thought of the police, <laughs> and also straight into the heart of the thief. I am more Nutello than a Hamlet. Out, out, damned candle. <laughs> <laughs> she is legally mine. One day she will die knowing it. And another satisfaction of my shame is the proof that it is she who is infertile. But Marion's on the pill, I dare say. <laughs> I would never give my name to another man's child. He would be robbing me not only of my helpmate, but my chain of my class butcheries. Clegg son, pork butcher. <laughs> Clegg and son. Family butcher. Oh, but still, she is Mrs. Clegg. And I'm even proud of her. I look at her and I think, I am the one this rich, powerful property developer swore before God to honor and obey. Whether she does or not. You won't deny she is a wonder. It's very much like having your own talking dog. It's on the front page of breakfast, the radio, or dinner, the television at the night. Look, look, that's mine. That's my clever dog. But a time comes when you say, heal. Home, lie down. You know what you were saying about a plastic bag? What if I put a plastic bag over my head and uh, tied it tight round the neck? What could go wrong? Well, some of them nowadays have safety holes. <laughs> well, not all. I'd, I'd have a look. There wouldn't possibly be any situation in which Marion might place her head in a plastic bag. <laughs> Play. You have no experience of taking life. Uh, I get my ideas mainly from books. Can't ever th put Agatha Christie down in newspapers. They're fun too. But people do die in real life. Daily. Large numbers. I've tried to kill myself six times. And I'm a willing victim. 
I know it's one thing to think about. When I look at her in real life, I'm always surprised at the bloom of elf. Saw a poster yesterday saying suicide. Ring the Samaritans. So this very pleasant young fellow comes around, and I tell him I'd like to kill myself. Could he help? And he says, in a very feeling voice, he'd certainly try. <laughs> Does he help? The bastard is always trying to stop me. <laughs> It's half past five. Time to close. There should really be a ceremony to help. There's a funeral dance. One hundred thousand. Oh, that's it. I held out. Oh, I knew you would. I admitted there was competition. Oh, made him jump. I gave him a deadline. Got him on the spot. He came through on the phone like a lamb. <laughs> he could offer all, as soon as we're clear. You should have asked for 120. No, dear, I should not. It's worth perhaps 80. Don't show off. Congratulations, my love. We shall celebrate. <laughs> oh, it stinks in your cleanliness, and always. No wonder you've no customers. Throw it all away. Shut the shop. What if that? What if that? Just shut it, boss. Be mean to you, Aunt Wanda. To lean out with us. Chuck it in the bin. What about the rest of it, Claire? Will you pay the dustman and take it away? I think I'm turning into a vegetarian. I know very well. It's a sad moment. I can't be a failure to Sir Hill. We will all go out together and celebrate, commemorate, make an occasion. Washing hair. 
The boys are kept busy in school. Your mum was busy when she could be. Sitting here quietly, doing nothing. The day goes by itself. I wish you'd see a different doctor who'd find something really wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> then I could hope you'd get better. Forget <laughs> normal people are like me. Why can't we get our things back? Yes. You must leave me if you want to. I hate when you say that because what you mean is you want to leave me. No, if I wanted to, I would. Yes, you would, wouldn't you? You wouldn't worry about us at all. You wouldn't wonder how I'd go on raising the kids. I can't go on working with a little baby, you know. You'd go away and forget all about us. But I'm not forgetting. I don't want to leave. Here I am. Other men do leave their wives, but at least they feel guilty about it. Maybe you should sit down, Lisa. You must be tired <laughs> out. You look awful. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, you're not still working, Lisa. Not after six months. It's better you know without that clock ticking, huh? Oh, nothing's moving at all. The baby is. <laughs> I shall scream! If you want to. It's not locked. <gasps> Hello. I hope I'm not intruding. Mrs. Crow said she was sure you wouldn't mind if I had a look around. A look around what? Oh, my name's Worsley. Mrs. Crow may have mentioned me. I'm a prospective buyer of the, of the house. She never said nothing to me. Oh, I think she mentioned she was intending to sell. She said she was thinking about it. That was only a couple of days ago. Well, she went to an estate agent yesterday, and the house is on their new list out today. Oh, I didn't think she was certain in her mind. <laughs> I think she is now. It's a bit late in the night, isn't it, for buying houses? Oh, well, when I viewed the rest of the property this morning, there was no reply to my knock. Mrs. Crow kindly lent me the key because she goes to bed at a reasonable... You've book. got a liberty. What do you want to come frightening people for? <laughs> I'm nervous myself. <laughs> Why am I frightening? Have a look around. By all means, have a good look around and you'll see all our things tipped out on the floor. What you don't see is what they took, which is what was worth something. Robbery? Oh, I didn't like to wonder. I, I thought perhaps some matrimonial... Uh, are the police making inquiries? <laughs> we haven't talked to them yet. We just come in. Just now? Oh, you must be in a state of shock. Can I make some tea, wrap you in a blanket? We must get the police at once. What a nuisance there's no phone no, in the house. No, I'm sorry. Oh, you must be about to rush out to the call box on the corner. But don't let me detain you. I'll just make myself at home. That's all right. Oh, no, my business can wait. We thought we'd leave the police till the morning. Yes, but the sooner you go... Thank you ever so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're leaving it. <coughs> don't let me interfere, of course. Do look at whatever you like. The cooker and sinks on the landing, I expect you saw. I'll clean this lot up. I hate to touch my own things, they feel. Solid. You could put them in the dry cleaning machine. Seems a bit extravagant. That's what I do myself. Um, this lot can go for on bread. You hear of cases where the intruders relieve themselves on the furnishings. I don't think I could go around living in a room with that at that end. I hope you didn't lose anything of great value. My engagement ring, that's the worst. Oh. And what a new transistor radio. Oh, and then there's the sentimental value. Well, there is. I was just saying to Alec. <laughs> I don't know what you want to see or I'll show you. It's not a very good room, I'm afraid. Uh, there's uh, some damp up in that corner. It don't look bad now, but it comes in worse in the winter. Well, I'll have a surveyor out to see what repairs are necessary, of course. It would be nice if you could fix the dam because it's only going to get worse if it's left and it worries me for the winter with the baby. The back room? Yes. Um, would you mind being a bit quiet because the baby was sleeping there and Alex's mother, I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't go in. I wouldn't dream of it. Please do. Ah, oh, I didn't come to wake up your children. That wouldn't be a very good start to our relationship now, would it? Mm. <laughs> it's like the room below, yes? I've been being in Mrs. Crow's rooms. We painted it yellow last year. I don't know if you care for yellow. Two boys, I think, Mrs. Crow said. And your mother-in-law. Of course, when we first came, it was just my husband and myself. We thought we might get a house. <laughs> and soon there will be six of you. 
course, no one with a decent place would want us in it. I wouldn't oh. myself if I was letting rooms. <laughs> I'd have single English steady office workers, one in each room. People like you. <laughs> Very true. Well, we manage all right. I expect from Mrs. Groves Elf the house you'll want to leave. I hadn't thought of it. Oh. Well, I just thought as you've been friends all these years, you might not feel comfortable when she's gone. Oh, well, we're not when she's gone, Fred. Especially since you're so overcrowded here. Not the way I'm back to home, though. I'm sure you'd be happier somewhere else. Are you turning us out? Is that what you're doing? You can't do that, <laughs> Alec! Oh, we're not furnished, you know, in the basement. Turning you out? <laughs> Oh, what an old-fashioned idea. No, no, I was hoping I could do you a favor. Because this is an unfurnished tenancy. Moving house is always an expense. There's your losses tonight, and then you'll want new things for the baby. What would you say to 200 pounds? We haven't got 200 pounds. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to give you 200 pounds. What for? Well, I was going to say 100, but seeing as I've come at such a catastrophic moment, which Really, I, I do sympathize with. I can see my way to making it double. How do you mean? To assist with the removal expenses, to allow you to afford a bigger place, a ground floor, perhaps, with a garden for the kiddies. So you want to give us 200 pounds for nothing? I like to see people happy. 200 pounds notes? It's a bit like winning the pools, in a small way. You're very kind. Are you sure you can spare it? Oh, you're not just feeling sorry for us. You've got us at a bad time. Well, the delightful thing is we both get something out of it. I get the rooms, you get the money. We're both happy. But they're not our rooms to sell. They're Mrs. Crow. Shouldn't she have the money? <laughs> I'm getting on in a muddle. I'm sorry. I'm not used to property at all. Mrs. Crow is getting a very fair price for the house. And this is a little bit extra for you because I like to do things properly. Is that what normally happens? Very often. <coughs> it's new to me. Well, what an excitement. <laughs> I'm not moving. <laughs> Did your husband say something? <laughs> Have you been paying attention, Alec? Mr. Worsley's giving us £200. We mustn't feel bad about taking it because we'll have the trouble of moving and he'll have the rooms. We'll have the trouble and he'll have the rooms. We can use the money to pay for a bigger place. How much did you say? Two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds is a lot of money. Of course, the rents around here are going up. We'd be lucky to get something this size for less than ten. We only pay two pounds now because it goes back a long time. Yes, well, your new flat will be of a higher standard. I see, that's eight months too. That's less than six months. Is that right? Then we'd have to find the rest of it. Oh, don't think I'm being ungrateful. <laughs> You're taking a very unrealistic attitude. I'm only trying to be of assistance. Oh, I wish you could work out. It seems such a shame. These conditions are most unsuitable for raising a new family. All these stairs for your wife, three kiddies and their grandmother all in one small room. Well, I'd really love is a place of my own. I didn't think we'd still be here. So my life weren't different. You may never get another chance for a fresh start. I think if you stay here, you'll regret it. But we don't have to go, whatever you say. Well, uh, under the new Act, your rent will, of course, be adjusted to be a fair rent. How much is that? Well, the uh, property will be so much improved that, to be fair. Well, we'd have to wait and see, wouldn't we? The builders may find it necessary to take out the stairs for a time. And, well, the roof, of course, will have to come off. The roof come off? No, <laughs> oh, don't let that worry you. I'm sure before that happens, you'll be snugly installed in some new accommodation. Only don't leave your decision too late. I can't keep my offer open indefinitely. It's still open now. Oh, yes, yeah, still open for the time being. What say I give you a few days? Call back sometime next week, and we can finalize our arrangements to the greatest benefit of both parties. I wish you luck in getting your property back. You'll need luck, as well as the fleas. I can find my own way down. We'll never have 200 pounds all at once to hold in our hands. But it wouldn't last long. I don't know. <laughs> the best thing is just ignore him. We can't ignore him if he just comes in. And what did he mean about taking the stairs away and the roof? He wants us to go. If he wants us to go that bad, then he might offer us more money. Then we'd have to take it in our own interests. We don't have to do anything. I don't want 
want to stay where I'm not wanted. Doesn't feel like home anymore and all of our things. Are we getting the police or not? Still, I've got the boys, that's what matters. I've got you. <laughs> Oh, Marion! Oh, look at the size of them! 
Oh, I'd like to get old. Oh, I'd like to gobble. I say it. You can fall in the office on Wednesday morning. So you might keep me on my start. Careful. Oh, stop it. I always am. I know. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh. He's busy. Yeah. Do as you're told.
tell myself Worsley's just saying things to frighten me, but he does frighten me. I wouldn't have come to you for help if I wasn't desperate. I didn't want to see you again, but I can't have a baby with a roof off. I said! Oh, it's you. What's the matter? I just thought I'd drop in. I got a bit bored indoors. Sambo is excellent company for a dog. He just, just what he's told us if he was human. I pretended to be cross just to see it. He laid down with eyes so sad, just like a real member of the family. And I said, come here. Hi, Lisa. Oh, uh, well, well. <laughs> Expecting again? Congratulations. We was all such friends. Oh, it's a long time. Things are quite different. You've heard our tragedy, I suppose. Had to close the shop. Oh no, you've never had to do that. What an awful thing, your very own shop all gone. That's what I say, all gone, my very own. As bad off as me. Well, it's a man's job to put a stiff upper lip on the face of it, lend a supporting arm, your chin can tremble. It's such a relief to know that I'm with real old friends. Your well, sympathy may not do any good, <laughs> but it does help. Oh, it does. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, forgive me. Oh, oh, there, there. Oh, oh, a real woman. A good cry, best thing. Can we get off? I'm so tired of it all. Oh, there, there, there. Oh, poor little flower. <laughs> a moving moment. Come over here where we can hear ourselves think. Has our legend seen 42 yet? Oh, uh, he'd like it with making possession. Is that her? You're very white. Oh, it's the gas. What, last night? Yeah, that Samaritan friend of mine dropped in just as I was going off nicely. Had you invited him? Oh, you know me better than that, Marion. <laughs> I do try. Mr. Worsley. At your service, as always. I hope you come to a happy decision. You know him! Well, he's a Marriott's employee, my dear. He goes around to all the tenants dealing with the properties. Here, have a hanky. Blow. <gasps> so it's you, Marion, who bought the house. It's all you, isn't it? Always oh, hated you, you horrible bitch! You can't do it! I hate to hear a lady use language. <laughs> have a cry. Have a good cry. Then we'll see. Anything she can have. 
I don't know what I could lose that would make any difference to me. Lisa? No. You don't love her. I didn't say that. If you love someone, you want to keep them. I want to. So not Lisa, your mum. Lisa says you won't part with her. You won't take her to hospital. Do you cling to your mum? She'll die soon. Are you sorry? Everyone dies, unless they were never born. Hmm. Are you glad then? No. Have you got no feelings at all? Not of indignation. Hmm. But you wouldn't want to lose your children. No. Well, there then. But children do die sometimes. It could happen. One after mine as much as someone else's. But if it did happen to yours, that should be a horror for you. We're not talking about other people. I could probably bear it. I'll give you a thousand pounds. For Lisa, for your boys, for your mom, whatever you'd like to think it's for. And find you somewhere to live. This flat is ridiculous. You seem to want this house very much. What I want is for you to wake up. We were going to bed ourselves. What are we going to evening classes for? We both felt we'd missed something. You were never sure what subject was the answer. Everything seemed to lead to something else you wanted to get a hold of. There were books in the bed. You couldn't let a single fact go. Learning things wasn't any use. If you wanted it to be some use, you should have concentrated on one thing and got a qualification. I got on at the end of my own way. I always said I wasn't the butcher's wife. You could have done something even greater. But why should I? You know stamina. I've got a garden flat you could have. Basement. Basement flat. Do you want us to go read? Two thousand pounds to get out of my house. What makes you think I want two thousand pounds? You should want it. Vanessa, say for your sons. What are you up to, Alec? Of course it wasn't in your interest to go for a two hundred or five hundred with little sum it was. Even a thousand doesn't touch the profit I'll make. I respect you for hanging on, but two thousand. Two five! Hey, day. Hey, day. Hello there. Are you Edie? She likes someone to answer. My God, I hope I don't live as long. She's not in any pain. Marvellous. It's a great deal. But she doesn't know what's going on. Does she remember her life? Does she even know who she is? Oh, I kill myself to put my mind begin to drop away like that. Suppose I said Alec, Alec, and someone else said hello there. And I didn't know it wasn't you. Because it would be you I called for, even if I was 80. I've always thought that is over. My face will go like hers one day. I keep what I can, I don't want to die. It was all here before you were born. You don't resent that. But once you have things you don't want to give them up, it's quite different. No, it's just the same. But I want to hold on. Everything I was taught. Be clean, be quick, be top, be best. You may not succeed, Marian, but what matters is you try your hardest to push on. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war. That was my favorite song when I was seven. Fight the good, fight. Where's your fight? Oh, I know the Bible stories aren't true, but that makes the meaning matter most. God gave us dominion over every beast of the field and fowl of the air. Gave the land to him to a seed forever. Does an evolution say the same? Keep on, yet better, be best, onward, fight! How did man get to the moon? Not by sitting, staring at an orange. Columbus, Leonardo da Vinci, Scott of the Antarctic. You would be content on flat earth. But the animals are ours, the vegetables and minerals for us to consume. We don't shrink from blood or guilt. Guilt is essential to progress. You'll tell me next that you don't feel guilt. I don't know how you know you're alive. Guilt is knowing what you do. I see the children in those shoes and socks as in the houses I buy. Should I buy them socks? It would be ridiculous, but I feel it. That pretty lump is the pair of swine. And what would happen to work without guilt? I was never a lazy girl. Marion tries hard. I work like a dog. Most women are fleas, but I am the dog. I don't at all mind leaving here if you want it very much. Too far? No money. Lisa will want it. All right, if you like, if she likes. Talk about it to her. Edie? Hello. Wouldn't you rather stay here? I don't mind. You could stay. Of course I could. I mean, there would be no more pressure. 
Yes, Lisa doesn't like Worsley very much. No more Worsley? Good. Are you with me? I don't think so, no. You could stay here as long as you'd like if we could go back. Back where? To each other. I'm not at all the same person as I was then. You remind Vane and you always will be. I've changed. Skin and all in seven years. The mind's <laughs> the same. Don't wriggle, Alec. I don't know what mind you mean. You can say what you'd like, but it's still recognizably you. Of course, you're not exactly the same. Everyone changes. But this you is in place of that you. It's still you, not someone else altogether. I think it might just as well be. You talk about the past and the future, but it doesn't apply. Here I am now. What you're saying is you've had a breakdown. Or up. Or through. I've been in a mental hospital myself, just after. I had. I don't care if you're mad or sane, Alec. I am yours whether you want me or not. Have all the money and stay here too if that's what you want. Empires have been lost for love. Worlds have been lost. We've made enough destiny, get what we're after, even if we're destroyed by it, and everything else with us. We split the atom. Onward. Love me. I'm not what you want. You are what I want. I want you badly now. <clears throat> now? And always. I am keeping you, Alec. I could now. Easily. If you like. But I don't keep. I'll take it, yes. You take it then. I never want to 